Hello, Cowboys Nation. I am Dan Rogers on Twitter at DannyPhantom24. And today I wanted to take a deep dive look at the last game against the Green Bay Packers and take a look in particular at the Cowboys offense and their passing game and try to get a feel for what's going on. I know there's been a lot of talk about, um, you know, is Kellen Moore doing enough to help the Cowboys offense? Are the Cowboys receivers not creating enough separation? And then finally is, is this a Dak Prescott issue? Is he just not making the throws he needs to make? I know we all have our own feelings about what the problem is. So today I would like to kind of take a close look and go through and go through a look at every single Prescott pass and try to understand what is going on with the Cowboys offense and why do they sputter at times? Do they need help? Uh, you know, we need to know, and we, we would like to understand what is going on. So let's get into it. Let's go through these plays and try to figure out, you know, what we can conclude from watching Dak Prescott in Lambeau last Sunday. You know, you're going to see a lot of shell defense from the Packers. You're going to see a lot of shell defense from everyone going forward as they continue to try to challenge the Cowboys and challenge Prescott, you know, they'll give up the short stuff. They're daring Dak Prescott to go deep, you know, and a lot of times defenses are winning those um, those chess matches. So the Cowboys, you know, they got to make plays. They, you know, do they have the plays there to to be able to be successful? Are Is Dak Prescott leaving plays on the field? That Those are answers I would like to know, and that's what we hope to accomplish today. So Let's get into it. Let's see what we can find out. So things did not start out so well for the Cowboys. Uh, they went three and out on their first two possessions. Uh, they gained a total of five yards. Um, in each of those drives, they had two passes each. Um, nothing was completed. So let's take a look at the first drive here on the Cowboys' first passing play of the game. Uh, Prescott is going to be looking to the right, looking for Dalton Schultz. Uh, unfortunately, the pressure is going to come up a little bit too fast, and he's going to check down to Tony Pollard um, to get rid of the ball a little quicker. Let's take a look. This play starts to go. You can kind of see right here. They're sitting on these routes, so you can kind of see that the receivers are covered here. You may get a little bit. C.D. Lamb's going to create a little separation here, and you got something over the middle here, but Prescott is never looking that direction. He's looking to the right. He wants to go to Schultz. As you can see, it's going to take a little while for Schultz to get even start into his break. Prescott has already made the decision to go to, to Pollard, which I don't mind at all. I think this is actually the right choice here. Uh, unfortunately, he, th he ends up throwing it a little too high, and the ball sells over his head, and, and the pass is incomplete. The very next play, again, Prescott going to be looking to his right. And again, pressure is going to start to come up the middle a little bit here. He's looking for Schultz. Schultz actually gets out of his break, and he's going to be open here. Prescott makes the right decision. I do think you also see Gallup coming across the middle. He could go there, but Schultz is, is running to the sticks. This is going to be a first down if he's able to make this throw, as you'll see come out of this break, and he'll be open here. But unfortunately, the ball gets knocked down, deflected, because it, uh, it be, it's not even anywhere close to Schultz. You can see right there, Schultz is open. This is a this is NFL open. This would be a first down if, if Dak could make this throw. But unfortunately, like I say, the ball gets tipped, and the Cowboys come up empty, and they end up punting. On this play, you're going to see the Cowboys actually have something going here. As Prescott drops back, you're actually going to see both Noah Brown and C.D. Lamb are, are coming across the middle of the field here. And I do think you got these guys, he has these guys open here. I think right here, and this is where he just feasted all day when, when the Cowboys did have success, is Lamb coming across here. And this is he's had some big plays in this game from here. I, I do think that this is where the ball's got to go. I think Prescott is a little slow to deliver the ball, and by that time, uh, defenders are able to catch up. Um, the DB comes across the field to cover Lamb, and this defender stays with Noah Brown across the area. Prescott is actually going to be looking for Noah Brown, but uh, the defender is right on him, and he ends up deflecting the ball. 
I also want you to pay particular attention to Prescott's feet on this play. Uh, if he makes the decision quicker, I think he can get the ball here. But he has a little bit of a, a, a shuffle with his feet, the stutter step, so he ends up holding the ball a little too long. Um, let's take a look. And then as a result of the play, uh, we have an incomplete pass because the pack, like that stutter, stutter step and then tries to deliver the ball. The Packers are on it. So incomplete pass there. So on this play, he's going to be looking over the middle of the field. You're going to see CeeDee Lamb's going to do an inside out, and he's actually open. I think this is a good play here, good play design, and he's going to have his man for the first down. As you'll see, he makes a nice little move. He's got Quay Walker on here, which I don't think is, I think that's a favorable matchup for the Cowboys. Walker is a talented linebacker, but that's that's a tough matchup. Uh, as you can kind of see, he's he's got him here, and then he'll be. I mean, this this would be a nice gain along the sideline here if he can make this play. He's got it. He's got it, and then I don't even know the ball's at his feet. Not sure what happened there. Okay, so now we're gonna get some good stuff here. This is the Cowboys' 17 play, 83 yard drive. Let's take a look at some of Prescott's passing plays on this drive. So on this play, what we're gonna see is. This is a design, a running play, but Prescott is going to decide to quick. He's going to see the cornerback back off of Gallup. He's going to quickly throw the ball to, to Gallup. As you can see, all the offensive linemen are going to be going forward. This is a running play. Noah Brown even starts a block here. But because of that space, you see the defender backed off here. He's going to hit, try to hit Gallup. Unfortunately, the ball is thrown a little bit out in front of him. Gallup lunges to catch the ball and... and as a result, the DB is able to close on him relatively quickly, and, and Gallup's not able to really... If he gets past this guy, it's a nice gain, but he can't collect himself, and the Cowboys get a minimal gain on this play. Good decision. No, no problem with that. Cowboys hoping to get a little more on that play. It didn't happen. On to the next play. On this play, this is one of my favorites. Uh, this is the one where Packers jump offside. So Prescott, as he often does, you know, doesn't have a care, a care in the world. Very comfortable um, with his drop back. Delivers a great ball to C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb's going to be running out here. Cut inside. It's going to be perfectly thrown. Um, Prescott, he does this quite often, you know. When he, just, he has a free play, he just, you know, he doesn't... Um, feel any pressure at all and just lets it rip and and the Cowboys can capitalize on these types of moments from him when he is not afraid to make these plays very good play for Prescott a nice gain for the Cowboys offense and finally the Cowboys are moving the ball in this game next passing play now we have moved into the second quarter on this one it's going to be a, a quick little pass to CeeDee Lamb I like the play. He's got choices here. He's got either of these guys open here. Get CD Lamb the ball with a chance to to make a move. It's always going to be a good thing. And that's what happens here. CD Lamb always seems to pick up this little extra yards to Actually, this is a good tackle on by the Packers DB. On this play here, we see this a lot in this game. There's a little bootleg, fake pitch. He has choices here. I actually think that if you look at this play, very well designed. A lot of things going on here. You can kind of see you got Gallup running down here. I think you, you got a touchdown if, get, if Dak makes this play. This safety's got to make a decision. Does he want to hang with him or does he want to cover over the middle he he ends up playing back so that actually makes jake ferguson the act the right call and this is where i would like to see Dak go with the ball he also has uh hinder shot flying down the sideline so there's there's all kinds of choices here unfortunately prescott decides to go with uh, sean mckeon here as he's coming across i think both of mckeon here and, and ferguson here are are fine i prefer there's a lot of space here i prefer him to go this direction but he ends up going short on this one and a small gain again i would have liked to seen him target this area of the field pack he's forcing the packers 
Kellamore is forcing the, the, the Packers to, to commit somewhere. If, if they commit here, Gallup's got a touchdown. Very well designed, but I think this is just a little too conservative for Prescott, and I think there, there's a bigger opportunity to make a play um, on this play. So next play we got going on here. This is just going to be a quick out to Schultz. I don't have a problem with it. I do think, again, you're, 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 you're forcing the Packers to make a decision here. You're going to come out come out here and cover Schultz, or you're going to sit sit in here and, um, and cover Noah Brown. They go with the, the first one, leaving Noah's wide open here. I think this is the word where Dak should have went with the ball here. You can see here Noah Brown. There's room right here. Open space there. Dak makes a quick decision. Don't have a big problem with it. Small gain for Schultz. Next play here, he's going to be, he's going to actually hit C.D. Lamb over here and they get the first down. I think he makes the right decision. As you can see, this play, Packers do a great job. They got the middle of the field covered. They have, basically, there, there's, there's nothing open here. Uh, Dak sees that. CD's open over on the on the right side, and he makes makes the throw to CD. I think this is a good choice on Lamb. He gets a couple extra yards on this play to get the first down. So good choice there for Prescott. This play here again, I think it's a good choice. It's going to be a bootleg. Going to have options here. You basically it's like who are you picking and. You know, this defender travels with Noah Brown. If he does it, if he lays back with Schultz, it's a touchdown in the corner of the end zone for Noah Brown. But he tr follows him, leaving Schultz wide open. So that was going to set the Cowboys up in great shape. Good play. Makes a quick decision. There you go. The Cowboys have the ball inside the five-yard line. And, of course, the final play of this drive. It's the C.D. Lamb touchdown. You got... Basically, the Packers, they actually end up blitzing from the edge, so that's going to end up leaving two defenders to cover three guys, as you can see, and, and nobody cut, decides to cover C.D. Lamb. You'll watch here. The Packers blitz in on this play. These defenders are committed to, to these guys. That leaves Lamb wide open, and he gets the ball and then does the rest with his feet, and you have the Cowboys first touchdown of the game. Good choice from Prescott. On the next drive, as you might remember, they, the Cowboys recover the fumble when Aaron Rodgers was stripped by Demarcus Lawrence. So the Cowboys have great field position. Unfortunately, this drive is a quick one. Um, got two plays going here. This first one. I'm not sure what's going on here. You know, I... They do this a lot where they just get the ball out to CeeDee Lamb, but I really think the Cowboys, this was, um, you know, CeeDee Lamb's doing a boogie-boogie. He's throwing his arms up in the air. I don't think they have any intention of, of throwing the ball there. However, I'm not sure what's going on. You can actually see the Cowboys' the offensive line. Everybody starts blocking forward, so it's not a passing play. Uh, so Prescott ends up running with the ball on this. So I don't know if it was a designed run or if Prescott – was actually supposed to hit CD and and hesitated. It's it's not uh, not clear what was going on here. I don't I don't know. But the Cowboys get hardly nothing from it. It looks kind of like a broken play. So yeah, I'm not sure what to think about that. We move forward to the second and final play of this drive, and everyone's probably familiar with this already. This is the one. Basically, this is the pick in the end zone where Rudy Ford is going to close in there and jump this route. So basically what's supposed to happen is Schultz is going to come up through here. It's supposed to be taking this guy deeper, but he comes out flat with his round CD. He's supposed to be kind of coming around and just ride, ride the wake here. And this is where he, Dak wants to hit him right in here. Unfortunately, so Schultz will get a little bit taken out of off his route here by the, by the defender. You can kind of see he just kind of ends up going a little bit more to the outside. So, and also at the same time, you'll see CD does not kind of round that out. He just goes kind of right up the middle. So what you end up having is two guys right on top of each other. They're not going to 
get the space you want. So this makes it really easy for the safety here to, to, to jump this. Uh, Dak's just trusting that this is that he's taking this guy out of the play. This guy's not going to be there. And then you're going to have CD uh, wide open across the middle. Of course, we know that does not happen that way as the route is jumped and the Packers have the pick. So a bad sequence for the Cowboys, unable to get uh, any points out of that drive. So we'll move along to the next drive. Again, this was just not end up favorable here. That's a rather short one. So the first play here. Actually, this is a really good play. Cowboys have, again, Packers are just sitting on these routes. You know, they're, they're daring Prescott to beat him, but they're going to give up the short stuff, not give up any of the intermediate, daring him to go deep. This is one of those times where they, they actually the Cowboys would have got one deep, um, but because because Gall, uh, Gallup is going to give a, he's going to pull up here and fake, and then he's going to take off. So, but the defender Packers defender ends up holding on this play. He sees he's beat here, so Dak makes the correct read. He goes, he's going to the right play, but the Packers just end up grabbing him, and then Pat Gallup is. Goes nowhere. The Packers do get flagged for this. This was a, a very blatant hold, and um, but yeah, uh, opportunity. It could have been a, a big play uh, had Green Bay not held there. We'll go to the very next play here. Not sure what Prescott is seeing on this play. He's going to end up going to Tony Pollard. Um, Noah Brown is wide open in the center. That's that's the correct place he should be going with the ball. There's Packers have this side of the field covered, as you can kind of see. Pressure starts coming, and Dak starts to he starts to panic, and he throws over to Pollard, and he's and he's slow there. But this is an easy an easy wide open play to Noah Brown, but Dak does not see him and does not go that way, and he ends up throwing on the flat to Pollard. On this play, Green Bay has this very well covered. Again, this is kind of the same old, same old. You kind of see they, you know, they have the sticks covered. They're just sitting on those, sitting back at the at the first down marker. Uh, I don't know that there's any place Dak should have gone differently with the ball here. I think he actually makes the right choice. This is, ends up being incomplete as he tries to hit Gallup coming across here. The ball is high. At first, I thought maybe a good throw. We got a first down. Um, so Prescott didn't throw a great ball here, but we kind of look at this and you see where this defender is and kind of sitting here. I mean, it's better to go high with it than to throw across there and have this DB just jump in front of it. So I don't have a problem with, with this play. It's just one of those, one of those plays where the Cowboys just didn't make the play. The ball, it goes high and complete Cowboys get nothing. And then finally, the last play of this drive is not one we really want to relive, but we're going to do it anyways. This is the second pick. You guys are all too familiar with this. Basically, C.D. Lamb's going to come up here, and he's supposed to be going across the face of the safety. Uh, what happens here is this DB actually kind of trails him a little bit um, and it forces him to go a little... A little deeper actually I think it might be a linebacker here that goes a little deeper before he's able to cut across I think it could just trips up CD I think at this point it's like I don't think I can fit in here to go straight across here so he ends up slowing down not sure what to do and then trailing off actually and then again it's just a, a gift for Packers safety Rudy Ford um, go and see this play here and Prescott's just trusting that C.D. Lamb's going to be there. He's not. It's in. There you have it, an interception. So on this next drive, the Cowboys are actually going to go 66 yards on eight plays. This is the drive right before the end of the first half here. Very well orchestrated drive by the Cowboys here. First play, Dak's just going to be looking for C.D. Lamb real quick out of his break. Doesn't hesitate. Makes the play. Right read, boom, got it, CD, a couple extra yards. Cowboys are in business. Very next play. 
this is one of the more impressive plays in the game. Prescott's actually, so there's, to me, I think there's safer safer bets here on this play. You got Gallup coming across here. You got Pollard here with some room. And you got CDs going, going deep. But Dak actually goes to Schultz here and hits him in this pocket. And it's, it's a very tight window, but it's the pass is just perfect. Spot on, perfect pass. And I mean, again, I think there's there are safer options for Dak to go, but you know he's he's confident with his throw. He just steps into it, a perfectly placed ball, just one of his better passes of the day. So Cowboys are driving now. On this play, he's going to have Michael Gallup's going to come in and cut in toward the end here. Green Bay gives him a lot of space here. Dak does a great job. I think there's. It's the right place to go. I think Green Bay has got these guys covered here. Gallup's one-on-one -on -one with this guy. It will cut in. The ball is placed perfectly. And so so nobody has a chance to catch it but Michael Gallup. And the Cowboys will get the ball down inside at the five-yard line with time enough to get a score before the end of the half. And that's exactly what they do here um, on this play here. Like the move here, you got Schultz coming across. This is where it, where Dak ends up going. Again, I think Gallup's got this guy taking this guy to the corner end zone. So there's space here. Dak's going to put the ball up a little high and and out in front of him. I do think the, the Cowboys are lucky that Schultz does not get tackled there because they likely end up having to kick a field goal if they even have time for that. Uh, so, But luckily, Schultz is able to break the tackle and he gets in for the touchdown. But I think the ball is placed, good placement, good pass, good play, and the Cowboys get their second score of the game. So now we are kicking into the second half. This is a quick drive for the Cowboys, a three and out. Um... This is the only passing play from this drive. Prescott had evaded a sack on the first play. Um, the Cowboys got, they were backed up in their, near their own goal line. So I think on this play, they actually can get this first down. I think Schultz is the right play here. He runs to the sticks and just sticks it. I think that's where Dak should have went with the ball. I don't have any problem with him. He ends up going to Noah Brown. Don't have any problem with it. Noah's actually open here. I think if you look right there, this is, this is fine. Uh, the problem is Dak doesn't throw a very good ball here. It ends up below and a little behind him, so Noah actually goes to the ground, and then he's not even he's not able to get up and get the yards he needs to get the first down. So the Cowboys end up coming up short on this play. Um, like the design, there's options there. Just think the Cowboys couldn't execute. Dak needs to throw a better ball there. The Cowboys catch a break on the next possession thanks to a fumble recovery on a Brian Inger punt. The Cowboys collided with the Packers punt returner and uh, they were able to jump on the ball and get the ball in, in Packers territory. So this will be their next scoring opportunity, next scoring drive. This is one of my favorite plays from Dak. If you're going to see the you're going to see CD come across again. He does this, did this a lot in this game. I think that you see there are safe plays right here, uh, but I love the fact that Dex Dex sees it. He knows where he's going. He's got CD in this area. Lamb does a great job cutting over, and you know, I mean, there's coverage there, but this is NFL open. This is this is where Dak needs to go with the ball. It's it's a well thrown ball, a great play by Lamb, and I think the Cowboys get a they get a big gain as a result. So this is what this is what you want to see from Prescott and CD Lamb. Great play. And finally, the last passing play of this drive. You're gonna find Dak's gonna be looking for Dalton Schultz. I uh, he's got him there. He's he's it's a little bit tight. I think that the the better play here is maybe to kick it out to, to Tony Pollard. Um, Pollard's got some space here, but Dak ends up going with Dalton Schultz here. Pretty tight coverage, and ends up not ends up not catching it. I don't know if the ball was deflected here. 
and ends up being incomplete. So the Cowboys get nothing here. But on the very next play, Pollard will take the draw in and the Cowboys score. So it doesn't mean anything. I don't know. But again, on evaluating this play alone, I think maybe popping it outside to Pollard is the better play. So on the Cowboys' very next possession, they go 86 yards on seven plays. Some really good play calling on this drive, uh, even though they didn't execute all the time. Um, but there was some good design here. Uh, this play here, actually, this is actually the intentional grounding. But I want you to take a look at the, the play design here. So Prescott is going to do a fake roll uh, a little bit to his right here. You can see that the Cowboys, are they got options on this play. You got C.D. Lamb going over to the corner. They look. They got Gallup going deep, and they're making the, the Packers decide where they want to commit. The Packers actually do a, a fantastic job co covering this play. Tight end actually comes out late out of his block, very well disguised, and they're looking for him to hit him on a wheel route. But the Packers are very disciplined. You can kind of see right here. He takes that away. So honestly, Dak does not have. A lot of places to go here. I think his last resort is to look for Malik Davis right here. But even then, the Packers' edge rusher collapses. He actually grabs him a little bit. Uh, and then Dak has nowhere to go. At this point, Dak has nowhere to go and ultimately ends up, uh, the rushers come at him and he ends up with the grounding call. But I do think that the play design was there. I think that the Cowboys just missed some chances. And then Prescott... Um, I mean, I don't know what to do there. I think you, well, you take a you take a sack. I guess is there's really nothing else that, you, that Dak could have done differently, um, other than what he did. So can't really complain about that. But you know what? The Cowboys persevered because on the next play they get half of this back. This is very a nice play. I do think there's options here. You can kind of see Turpin coming across the middle. A little bit of a high risk play, you know. But they're ultimately is going to is going to sit with. Schultz, and they're going to get a lot of this back. So good design, good decision by Dak. Kind of see here, Schultz comes off late, and then gets there, gets a few extra yards after the catch, and the Cowboys have a more manageable third down. Speaking of third down, this is the play. He's going to hit CeeDee Lamb up the middle. I think this is just great. CeeDee Lamb does a great job stopping out of his route, and Dak, you'll watch the play develop. You kind of see, I mean, he there's not a lot of space here. You know, I'm glad they could have been tempted to, to, to throw over here, but this guy's got this covered. Cap Packers have a good do a good job covering the outside guys. I think CD is the way where to go. And if you watch Dak, he will just fire a dart perfectly to CD Lamb, and the Cowboys end up converting on this third down and keep the chains moving. Nice play, Prescott, nice extra yards from C.D. Lamb. Good job on this play. And of course, one of the best plays of the game is this is the touchdown to C.D. Lamb. Again, it's just, it just shows you how good Prescott is when he's comfortable and he does, makes the plays that we know he's capable of playing. Um, if you look at this play, I, there's really not a lot of space here. I mean, you've got a sh check down maybe to, to Hendershot. Maybe you go Pollard here. These are safe plays, but you're not going to get where you need to go. Instead, he's looking for Lamb. He knows that he's going to have Lamb over to the left side, and that is where he ends up going with it. Just a great route by Lamb, good fake by Lamb on this play, and the Cowboys end up with the big touchdown. Very nice pass, and there you go, 28-14 Cowboys. Unfortunately, that is all the best stuff from this game. It gets a little bit messy from this point on. What happened, you might add, after you know the Cowboys had the 14-point lead in the fourth quarter? How come their offense couldn't do enough to move the ball, burn some clock, maybe get a field goal or something? But no, they did none of those things. So what happened? Let's take a look and see how things could have been better. Uh, very first play. This one, he's going to be looking for C.D. Lamb on this play. C.D. Lamb is covered. I don't think there's a lot of opportunity for Dak here. So i really not a fan of what I'm seeing here from a play calling standpoint. Just There's just not a lot there. I think Prescott ends up making the right call. It's going to be tight. Uh, C.D. does a good job. Quick 
quickly comes out of his route, but the Packers defender is right there, and the ball ends up being incomplete, as we will see this play. Stop, go, got him, but no, can't hold on. So Cowboys come up empty there. This is one of my favorite plays from Dak, even though there's not a big gain to it, but the, look at these Packer defenders here. Coming with the blitz, all but one of these guys are, are going to be coming after him. Uh, the only play here, really, is going to be to Michael Gallup, who you can see there's there's a lot of space between him and his defender, and Dak is going to deliver this ball before Gallup even starts into his break. It's just perfectly thrown ball, and the Cowboys end up converting here. Small gain, but quick decision by Dak. Great ball placement. Nice play from Gallup. Cowboys keep the chains moving. Next passing play. This is going to be another one of those quick outs. As you can watch, you can see the Packers corner. He's up on him, and then he backs off. It's going to be a running play. I mean, but Prescott decides it's not going to be. You can kind of see the offensive linemen are going to move forward. They're blocking. Dak's going to try to hit him here. The ball's thrown better, but the Packers defender just collapses on this, and he's there almost at the, the time that Gallup catches the ball, and the Cowboys get nothing on this play. I don't mind the, this play, but, but you got to win. I mean, it's basically you got to win. You, if Gallup breaks one, if you're able to get your receiver to have a guy miss, I mean, you're, you're looking at a lot of room here, a bigger play. Um, and you got so many defenders coming in here to stop this. So I, I I don't have a problem with this play call. It's just sometimes they execute better than you do. So, And finally, the last play on this drive. This is where we're going to see not a lot happening on this play. The Cowboys actually, so Prescott's going to be, he ends up Feeling pressure. Watch Connor McGovern will end up allowing his guy to get up and Dak get up after Dak. So Prescott has to come, move up in the pocket. Unfortunately, the right edge is going to slide down and he's going to be there waiting for Dak. And there's just nothing here. I mean, he's going to try to hit Pollard for a small game, but I mean, he doesn't even get the ball. It's just he gets smacked as he's throwing it and the Cowboys end up with nothing on this play and they will be punting. Um, so collapse, boom, at Pollard's feet, nothing. So on the Cowboys' next possession here, they, Green Bay has cut it to a seven-point game. Cowboys really need to get something going here. They don't want to give Green Bay the ball back, a chance to tie it. Unfortunately, that's exactly what ends up happening. But you can, on this first play, really there's nothing here. Green Bay does a great job sitting on Sitting back at the sticks, and Dak's going to try to force the ball to Noah Brown. He's late, and the and Quay Walker is there before the ball is, and it's got no chance. Great defensive play, nothing there. But Dak probably should have hit um, Tony Pollard on this play. Gets a little bit of a, a bad snap, so he's already taken out of his focus there. But I think. Going to Tony Pollard, it would have been the, the better play if Dak sees that. I think you get the ball out here. He's got a little bit of room to run. Uh, this, he's covered. I don't know why Dak's throwing the ball there. Not a lot of choices, though, I will say that, in Dak's defense. Uh, but the Cowboys get nothing on this play. And finally, their last play. Um, Prescott is actually... He's actually looking for Gallup deep here. You might notice that, like, you know, 15 yards down the field, the Packers defenders actually, they actually come in contact with the Cowboys receivers. And, not, you know, they could have very easily gotten called for illegal contact here. You can see that, you know, this this progress is impeded. Gallup's progress is impeded right here. And this, this is one is costly because it takes Gallup off of his, route and the timing is basically Prescott's he even sees that and he, he knows it too so now he's in trouble he's going to try to, to f float it over him but as you can see Gallup is just already behind on this and the Cowboys get 
nothing. This fall is incomplete. And nothing for the Cowboys. They punt. The Packers tie it. And that's the end of regulation. Moving on to overtime. The Cowboys actually had a pretty good possession in overtime. Um, did a good job moving the ball. You're going to see some good good balance of run plays to that you won't see here. But you're going to see some great plays by Dak Prescott. This is one of those plays where, again, you, we saw this. We see this all game coming across. The, this is C.D. Lamb's open. This is where he's going to end up going. Dak makes a great decision. Now, the safety does see him, and he is coming, and and he's not going to just stand there and let him make the play, but he's going to arrive late, and CeeDee Lamb, as he often does, he, he can make those bang-bang bang, bang, bang plays, and he holds on to the ball. We've seen him do this his entire career. Very good play. Prescott, nice throw, sets his feet, delivers a strike. Boom, he got it. Great play from both Lamb and Prescott there. Cowboys continuing to go. You see, this is, you know, they do with the bootleg here. This is a little disappointed because this could end the game. I think that there's so many options for Prescott here. So you look at here, you could have a bunch of things happening. Again, Ferguson's going to be, he's going to be coming over the middle. You're going to have Hendershot over on the wheel. And Packers got to decide where, who are we going to cover? And then Gallup is going to fly up here and you know, looking in the end zone, and then you have to you have to make a decision. Who are you covering? As you can watch this play develop, the Packers decide they're going to hang with him. Ferguson's if if Dak can get the ball to Ferguson here, that's going to be a big play for the Cowboys. Dak actually ends up trying to go to uh, McEwen again, and again, this is I'm not sure why Dak's going safe when there are better options available. But another problem is the Packers. Defender gets pressure on Dak. This ball actually ends up getting deflected, so the Cowboys come away with nothing. No touchdown here. Watch Gallup. Say no touchdown there. No Ferguson here. No McEwen even. The Cowboys get nothing on this play, but a great design, a great opportunity. If Dak can just somehow get a clean passing lane, this could be. I mean, this could be. This could be over if 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 Dak can throw that out in front. I mean, there's he's not getting to him to make that, to, to cover that play. So it's unfortunate the Cowboys are am, unable to get this playoff and it ends up being nothing. Um, the next passing play we're going to see just, this is the chemistry that Prescott and Schultz has. Um, Dak's going to be looking for Schultz here. Schultz does a great job to stop it on a dime. Get, he, the defender's right there, but Schultz is just quick. Dak knows where he's going to be. Dak delivers a great ball, and he's going to find Schultz for a nice gain. Next play, this is going to be the C.D. Lamb missed pass interference. Right, Dak makes the right decision here. If you look at it, other receivers are covered. Polyps even covered here. This is the right play. Lamb puts his foot there, plants it. He's got it. This is, Dak makes a good throw. The defender just arrives early and ends up what should have been called a pass interference and Cowboys get nothing out of it. And, and finally, the fourth down play. I think the Cowboys missed a chance here. Um, this is a really, it's a really tough play for Prescott. There isn't a lot open. He does have C.D. Lamb open over the middle. It's 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 a little bit of a tough throw though. As we watch this play develop, kind of see. Look at Gallup over the middle. I think they're going to be short of the sticks. I don't think you want to go there. I'm glad that he didn't throw there. But if you look here, you got C.D. Lamb coming out right there. I think this this could be a game winner right here. If you look at Dak, C.D. Lamb's coming across. And that gets behind the linebacker. He's right there. This is you got some space there. I think if Dex sees him and can can make a good throw into this area, I think that would be a huge play for the Cowboys to either you know keep the to keep the drive going and finish it off, or at the very least to get a field goal here. I think this is where Dex should have went. 
uh, Dak does not see it or he does not trust it. So ultimately he ends up trying to climb the pocket, but the Packers are there. So and unfortunately the Cowboys are not able to convert the first down and turn over the ball on downs to the Green Bay Packers. So that's it. I mean, that's the Cowboys passing attack. You know, what did you think? I mean, where are your feelings now? Are you con more concerned about one thing over another? I mean, I think what we saw is we saw the Dak Prescott makes a lot of good plays. And there's no denying that. You can still see that he is a very good quarterback. I do think there are times when he's missing plays where he's not going through his progressions correctly or his throws are just a little bit off. I do think the play calling is pretty good. I mean, there are times where you kind of would like to see better spacing. Uh, but overall, I don't have a lot of problems with it. I, I do think there's a lot of great opportunities for the Cowboys to find open guys. So I'm not worried about the play calling. I'm not really worried about Dak. I do think that he's got to make more plays. Uh, as far as the separation, I think the separation is fair. I wouldn't say the Cowboys are elite separators by any means, but I'm also not seeing guys completely smothered all the time. I do think that they do have pretty good uh, wide receivers, so I'm not like overly concerned there. I know a lot of people are. So, I mean, I think for me, what I learned from watching this is that as Dak goes, the Cowboys go. So when he's making good reads, when he feels comfortable in the pocket, when he's stepping into his throws, I do think the Cowboys, their passing game is fine. And I think it will hum. And there are certainly opportunities for that. Uh, so my, am I worried about this? Not really. I do think the Cowboys need to be better. Uh, I think Dak Prescott needs to be better. I think that there's overall, the Cowboys are still in pretty good shape. It's really going to come down to, are they executing? Are they executing on this day? That sometimes they have been, they have looked fantastic. Uh, and then there are times when they just didn't get it done. And I really think that's what we have, what we saw against the Packers is Aaron Rodgers made more plays. And, you know, when it comes down to it and you, you have those big games, we're going to need Dak Prescott to make more plays. And so that's, that's what I come out of this with. Um, you know, let me know what, what you think. Do you think there's still a problem? You want the Cowboys to go get OBJ? I mean, where is your mind at? Let me know in the comments or, you know, hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Danny Phantom 24